What's up everybody? 915 Mang here hanging out with you guys today. I got an order that came in. It's like the only thing that's really effective against the uh, Aptasia. I have some things going on in my tank. The Aptasia is starting to get a little bit out of control. And uh, this order right here, I only bought a couple of them. But I bought some uh, Nudibranch Bergias. They're basically slugs. And... Um, they eat the pest an enemy. They're the only thing that you can like dump into your tank and these guys will effect effectively go at them and eat them. It's the only thing that um, really works. I've tried everything. I've tried the calc washer. I've tried lemon juice. I even have an Aptasia 1. But these little slugs right here are like the only thing that will go in there and just eat everything. Also, they'll reproduce, uh, but once uh, your Aptasia is out of your tank, uh, these guys will start to die off. So it's best to um, get them and try to trade them with other reefers because everybody can use these little guys. They're, they're so helpful. That would also be a lot, a lot of money. But some of you guys out there, you guys got it like that. But me, I, I don't, so I'm just going to buy five of them. And I might place an order a little bit later on. But we're going to get it started going with five for now. Hopefully they reproduce and uh, I can go ahead and take care of this tank. So Aptasia, what is it? It's that thing right there front and center off to the right and left. And they are a pain in the butt because you can see your, they sting your corals. You can see that my awesome zoas right there are closed up due to the fact that they are getting stung by this monster Aptasia that I got going on. Now that's just an example. I got it all over the place here in my tank. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to um, dump them into my tank using this pipelet. Now you can see the tip of the pipelet is cut. So that way you don't damage or hurt the nudibranch slugs. And I'm going to go ahead and put them into the tank. Um, what they're going to do, they're going to immediately be floating. That's why I cut off all the flow. And I'm trying to put them into the rock they'll hide and then they'll start coming out at night you won't really see these guys during the day it'll mostly be uh, at the early morning late at night when they're active the rest of the time they're chilling out and uh, hiding but these little animals are the most effective way in my opinion to get out of to get the aptasia out of your your tank out of your system because all they do is eat Aptasia. Uh, they'll team up and they'll they'll eat those little anemones. And before you know it, your tank will start looking better. The remote control, you don't have to do anything. Introduce them to the tank and they'll do the rest. The sad thing is, once you run out of Aptasia, um, they will starve and die. So if, if you can, collect them, trade them because they're highly sought out. A lot of people want these things because they're so expensive and they do such a good job cleaning up your tank like I said the best way to get them is at night because they're active at night or early in the mornings you'll see them hanging up on the glass once you get a lot of them you'll see them swimming around I had these guys in my uh, 24 gallon all-in-one um, lagoon a while ago and they would just float around and I, would, I would see them all the time they're real easy to get um, the last time, once I cleared out my, my system, I traded with Alan's brother and um, I traded for some coral because he had some Aptasia problems and he was going to introduce it to his cube. So while we're here, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the zoas. You see that little slug right there hiding, floating all the way down to the bottom. And they'll also start uh, cleaning up all the little Aptasias that I have on my Zoas right there I have quite a bit of Zoas now, but I also have some monster monster Aptasia growing in this tank But it's always something here in reefing whether you have uh, Aptasia Pests um, for a while I was getting those Mohano anemones and those things I don't know what to do except for calc paste and uh, that F Aptasia stuff is pretty great and it's made here locally in texas in the dallas uh, fort worth area um, f aptasia is pretty good um, you can get that 
directly from uh, I forgot his name, but just Google it and you'll see. I think it's Frank, and uh, he sells that stuff locally. But you can also get it on bulk resupply now, and uh, so that's good. I did a video on that stuff. I'll do a link right there for you, and it'll be down also down in the description if you want to try some of that. But I'm talking about Mahano uh, anemones, which are like round and they're also a pain in the butt. Um, I've also tried super glue. I've tried calc wasser paste. I've tried everything. And uh, these guys right here, though, will only eat Aptasia. They will not eat uh, the little Mahano anemones. Which kind of sucks because if they did eat the Mahano anemones, these things would be even better. Um, because those Mohano and enemies are a pain in the butt. Rest of the tank is looking good. I got them all over the place. And you'll see in a couple of months. Because it's not going to be an overnight process. It is going to take a couple of months. If you want it to be like within a week or so. Buy yourself a bunch of the uh, Nudibranch slugs. But uh, for me it's going to be a couple of months. Because I only bought five. And hopefully they reproduce and start laying eggs and all that good stuff you can see it floating around right there towards the bottom of the screen but um it'll be a couple of months at least and this tank will be looking way way better so if you like this kind of content go ahead and hit that like follow and subscribe you guys take it easy and we'll catch you on the next one thanks guys